Ariel. So I wanted to do another video on epilepsy and depression. So I found this article that I had been looking for and it's from a um, doctor in Ontario and this is, it's a psychiatrist who wrote this and it's called The Impact of Depression in Epilepsy. So the reason I wanted to talk about this is that there are some really interesting statistics in here. Um, basically, importantly, epilepsy oftentimes has um, psychiatric illnesses that go along with it. Depression is one of the main ones. And in this article it says that depression is the most common psychiatric illness in epilepsy with a reported prevalence rate of up to 42%. So that's almost half of people with epilepsy having major depression. And that's really big. Um, I think that's important for people to realize. Um, there's possibilities of why you have epilepsy and depression together. It can be because of brain abnormalities and plenty of things we do not totally understand, as well as social stigmatization, discrimination, all kinds of issues that go along with having epilepsy. Um, restrictions of your daily life activities, stuff like that. Um, anticonvulsants also are oftentimes um, can cause depression. So some of the ones that in this article they say phenobarbital, phenytoin, vigabatrin, and lamotrigin. I found that the um, lamotrigin for me doesn't seem to be a big depressant, but I think it really depends on each person. So the impact of depression on people with epilepsy is very significant. Um, then we have uh, the factors. I think it's really important for people to realize you could watch my video on epilepsy and shame. Um, but it's the feelings of loss of personal control, the fact that, you know, you could have a pass out and have a seizure any time. And one of the things that people are most concerned about is the worry that people are going to find out about your seizures, that they're going to judge you because of your seizures, stuff like that, and blaming yourself for your illness. So those are important things to work through because if you do have depression, that increases it. But it's also really important to realize that there are other factors that can be causing your depression related to your epilepsy. And that there's a large number of people with epilepsy who have depression, like very large. Okay, so then this is the statistics I thought that were interesting. It says that there are people, most people who have depression, um, they don't necessarily, um, it tends to make their seizures worse. Um, so the best thing you can do is to treat your depression so that you're more likely to have fewer seizures because of that. So the statistic I like is that the most serious risk of depression with epilepsy is the fact that so many people have depression and then the suicide risk goes up. So the suicide rate is reportedly five times higher than that in the general population. So that means that if you have epilepsy, you're five times more likely to make, commit suicide. Um, and then the suicide rate is higher even with people with temporal lobe epilepsy. And it's 25 fold higher than in the general population. So that's really big. So not only are the statistics saying that a lot more people with epilepsy have depression, but that also the problem of the you know, depression getting really bad and becoming suicidal is 25 times the general population if you have temporal lobe epilepsy, five times the population if you have other types of epilepsy. So very serious, very serious. And oftentimes it's really important to do therapy, medication, and for an extended amount of time because this is not something um, that you can, you know, deal with in a week, you know, or even a couple months, you know, it may take years to really uh, get the help that you need. Then also the issue of which antidepressants to take. There are SSRIs, which are ser selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, and there are other um, antidepressants. The SSRIs are usually recommended because they don't seem to have very much of a correlational um, relationship with increasing your seizures. 
So that's usually what people um, do, you know, is use that. But personally, and I know other people sometimes use this, use bupropion, which is Wellbutrin. It depends on what you work out with your psychiatrist and your epileptologist or neurologist. Then um, one thing in this article, they say antidepressant medications should not be withheld because of fear or concerns about epileptogenesis, which is epileptic, epileptic activity in the brain. So really, it's just, you know, you want to use probably the lowest effective dose of your antidepressant, but it's really important that you treat the depression. Like I said, those statistics are really high, and so I really hope that you get the help you need.